can you put your headphones in? Is going to be a pretty big Korean. Ah, nine one one. Why? Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy, and if you're new here, welcome. Hope you're having a great day or a great week so far. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos, and let's just get right to the video. So from the title of this video, you can see that this is going to be a pretty big Korean skincare haul, and I decided to make it into two parts because I did buy some Korean makeup items, but I feel like I should just separate it just because there's so many products. I don't want to you know, be overwhelming or have too much. To give the short, my I, most recent obsession now has been uh, Korean beauty and that includes skincare and makeup. I have previous hauls and I'll link them all down below if you're interested and let's just get started. I've bought from a few different websites over a period of a few weeks and a lot of them um, are from the same websites but not there's no one website that offers all of these products and there's also some of these websites are straight from Korea and some of these websites are um, American US distributors for these products. I've also been able to find some on Amazon and I'll link everything that I, uh, all the places that I buy Korean products from, I'll link it all down below. Okay, so first starting with Wish Trend and Wish Trend is really awesome because um, they actually have their own skincare brand and it is Claire's. I think they have many, but Claire's is one of them. So I was really excited and Claire's is a really great brand because it is vegan and it is really great and safe for sensitive skin and it's also great for first time uh, Korean skincare uh, enthusiasts I guess or beginners and I if you saw my last haul you know that I did a lot a lot of research and I have done a lot more research now just to find the best products to kind of start with and the best products for my skin type which by the way I don't think I mentioned my skin type is dry sensitive and I have already used some of these products so I can give like a mini review already but let's just get started to this one and this one is the Claire's rich moist soothing cream and this one I have already used it and I love it so much it's just a basic moisturizer and it's super super raved about it was on the Soko Glam um, like oh beauty awards I think this year or last year I think this year actually and I love the packaging because it comes in a squeeze tube so it's much more hygienic than a tub that apparently used to come in like so I have really been loving this as a moisturizer for daytime and nighttime and it's just kind of the last step that locks it all in it's very thick but it's it just absorbs so so quickly and I know people with oily skin also love this as well so the next Claire's products I should have actually started with this one because I like to I normally like to go in the order of how I would normally apply the products so I would go for cleansers to oils to or to toners to moisturizers etc etc um, but let's just it's not too late so it's still Claire's product and this is a supple preparation facial toner and this has been like a Korean cult favorite and everyone always raves about this it's alcohol free so it's perfect for that seven skin layering method where you layer toner on your face seven times um, so it's great for that very gentle but also works really great it balances your pH level and it is moisturizing and it just preps your skin for all the next moisturizers that you're gonna layer onto your skin and then moving on to cleansers this is not um, Claire's but this is Kozar X and this is a low pH good morning gel cleanser and I have not tried this yet but I know that this is also very 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 uh, like popular item um, because it's very gentle uh, for gel cleanser and gel cleansers are pretty known for stripping your skin and just making your skin feel really um, tight and dry after but this one doesn't do that and it balances your pH level of your skin which is great. It also has like a slight, let's see, it has like a tea tree scent. So I know this is really great for oily skin. Um, I originally bought this for my dad because his skin type is oily, but I feel like um, dry skin types would also like this cleanser a lot because it's not, it doesn't have that stripping and it's very gentle. So really excited to try that one. And the last product from Wish Trend is from Claire's as well. And it is the Pure Vitamin C um, Freshly Juped freshly juiced vitamin drop and this I was really hesitant to buy because I was just 
I mean, I always heard about the vitamin C serums, but I was not really interested in them just because I felt like I didn't really need, like I didn't have acne scarring um, and I didn't really need that bright, or I didn't really, it wasn't something I was looking for. Like my main concern is hydration and anti-aging. Those are kind of my main two concerns. So I didn't really, really care much for fading acne scars because I had already done that. Um, I didn't really get acne scars anymore. But I decided that I really wanted to try it anyway just because everyone kept raving about it and they were saying that it still helps with brightening and you know vitamin C is good for your body so I thought I would give it a try and I didn't want to be too aggressive with vitamin C serums because I know that COSRX and um, Charlotte Cho from Soko Glam just came out with a um, triple C vitamin C serum of their own but it is very strong and this one only contains 5% vitamin C so it's a lot more gentle so it's not too well first of all it won't oxidize in the in the container but also it's just a lot more gentle and it's greater better for like beginners or people who just haven't really ventured out into vitamin C serums quite yet, so that's me. Um, but when I do, I have used this a few times and I wanted to start out by putting a few drops into my moisturizer first, or my cream first, and just kind of getting my skin used to it before directly putting it on my skin. So I haven't put it on directly on my skin yet, I'm still kind of incorporating it into my moisturizer just to slowly introducing um, vitamin C into my routine. So. Yeah, but I would highly recommend this for people who just want to try it out and if you are like me and you just don't really, it wasn't really your biggest concern, but at the same time you want to give it a try, um, so I would recommend that. Oh, and one more thing I got from Claire's, and this was recently, but this was the Midnight Blue Calming Cream, and this, um, let me just take it out of the packaging, this I also was... I was interested in trying because I was watching some videos saying that this was one of like the most popular Claire's items and it is it's so interesting it's a blue cream and it's like a calming cream that you shouldn't be using it every day per se but it's really cool so if you go on the wish trend website they have like a chart that tells you like when to use this and when to use this and when you would use this would be like for morning and, uh, and evening like anytime you should always use this one but this one is more for like targeted areas like you wouldn't really put this all over your face you would just put it over some redness um it, on the website it was saying that if you just had like a, a treatment like a skin treatment or like a laser treatment um facials like you would use this after just to soothe your skin um if you have like really like problem areas this would be great as well so that's why i just wanted to have it because i feel like i was thinking that i wouldn't if when i needed it i wouldn't have it because i would have to order it and stuff like that i can't just go out to the store and buy this right now so i just wanted to have it like on backup just in case but i love the i love the packaging like i love the matte black top of this so uh yeah excited to give this a try so my next two items follow a common theme and it is snail mucin and if you are already into korean beauty you know that snail mucin is one of the biggest most popular ingredients in korean skincare and it's really interesting because actually a lot of western and american skincare does have snail mucin in it but they don't market it as that and they don't advertise that but there are there is that ingredient in there um obviously i feel like americans would be a little bit more weirded out by that fact but koreans are very like what i love about korean skincare is they're very prideful in the ingredients and a lot of their skincare products they will it, it's named after their ingredient or they'll just talk about the main ingredient and they're very like interested in knowing what's the main ingredient so that's one thing i noticed that is different but i got these two from soko glam and oh this one's upside down but these two are really popular snail mucin um items so let's talk about this one first and this is coast rx advanced snail 96 mucin power essence and this it's so interesting. It's 96% snail mucin, which is really awesome. And so you would think that it would be really like weird, like a snail, um, just like snail ex like secretion. But it's really funny because the texture is actually very, very sticky. Uh, and it comes in this container. I think this is like glass or no, this is like plastic, but it's like a thick plastic. Um, so... Yeah, as you can see, the texture is really sticky, but it absorbs really quickly into your skin and it leaves your skin very smooth. It doesn't leave it sticky at all. So 
really excited to fully use this i've only tested it out on like my back of my hand i haven't really used it quite yet so excited to try that one and the next uh, snail mucin cream is a Misha Cell Renew Snail Cream and this actually won uh, also won a Soko Glam award like last year I think and it comes with this really awesome packaging and this is just like a general cream and it provides like a very cooling sensation on my skin I also have only tried this like on the back of my hand um, but it smells really nice like I feel like it's just kind of very similar to like aloe vera Kind of smell i think but it's so refreshing it's just a refreshing smell so i think i'm going to be using this as my morning moisturizer um so we're excited for that and i guess i didn't really mention about snail mucin but if you didn't know snail, snail mucin is best um is ingredient best known for uh, repairing your skin and because you know that snails are literally dragging their bodies on the ground every day and that snail mucin is helping them repair their skin and repair to make sure that their bodies are not you know being all scraped and i guess from the from the floor which sounds really like brutal but that's kind of the main um, feature and benefit of snail mucin in skincare products and the next two products are from Wish. And if you don't know what Wish is, Wish is an e-commerce app. Uh, well, it's a website and an app, but I would recommend using the app because uh, it gives you the best user experience and um, it's just a lot more user-friendly and you can like kind of use it a lot better. So yeah, and um, Wish actually does have a lot of Asian um, beauty products because they have a lot of uh, stores that are based out of Korea and Hong Kong and um, that also sell um, Asian beauty products. So first things first is I got Innisfree Orchid Enriched Cream and I'm really excited to try this because I have always heard, um, I saw a lot of YouTubers talk, YouTubers talk about this and I actually, this is the very first Innisfree product that I'm, I've ever used. Um, it's always been kind of, like I've always known about it because of um, just, Korean skincare and Korean beauty. I've always just heard about Innisfree, like Etude House and Innisfree are kind of like my, uh, Nature Republic, I guess, a little bit, and Misha, I guess. Okay, those are kind of like the ones that I was really into like a long, long time ago when I first really got into Korean skincare. So I never really got to try it though. So really excited to give this a try. And I know that um, their Orchid line is all about anti-aging and moisturizing because the Orchid is well, it's formulated with Jeju orchid extracts from the Jeju Island in Korea. Um, so I'm really excited to give that a try. And I also want to try the eye cream. I heard the eye cream's really good. So you might see that in my next haul. And the other thing I got is a honey mask. And it is from the brand I'm From. So it is from I'm From. Um, <laughs> I'm From, I'm From. <laughs> okay, anyway. Oh, that was really funny. Um, so I got this honey mask and honey mask is known for moisturizing, uh, just being very moisturizing and repairing. So I'm really excited to give this a try. I heard um, Gothamista uh, talk about this and it smells so good. It literally smells like caramel and it smells like I want to eat this entire jar. But I tried, I did try a little tiny bit and it's not good. But... <laughs> Yeah, so this is a honey mask and I think it's made, oh, it's made with 38.7% honey and that's really great. And finally, my last batch of products are from stylekorean.com and stylekorean.com, they had like a Black Friday deal or in Cyber Monday deal. So I just, you know, grabbed all these products right away. And first I'm going to talk about the Hamish All Clean Balm. And this um, is just an oil cleanser or a balm cleanser. So it's kind of like the Vanilla Co cleanser that I previously talked about in my previous haul. But I did hear that, I don't know if this is confirmed or true or not, but I heard that um, uh, like the Vanilla Co, one of the formulators or the, one, someone who worked there actually works at Hamish and created the all clean balm similar to the Vanilla Co, but a lot better for sensitive skin types because I know a lot of people were having some issues with Vanilla Co because like it was hurting their eyes or just not really good for their sensitive skin. And I heard that this one is a lot more gentle. So I will be definitely be trying that out and I will let you guys know, but I love the packaging of this. It's so nice. And I also um, saw that they kind of re uh, changed up their packaging and their packaging is kind of cool because it has like a flip top with the spatula that's here and then it, underneath there's the balm product so and 
It smells good. It kind of smells like... It smells like this cream, how this cream smells. The Claire's Moisturizing Cream. It has that similar kind of like fresh um, smell. Almost herbal, but not like overwhelmingly herbal. And the next product I am really excited to try is the Huxley Secret of Sahara Oil Essence. Essence-like slash oil-like. And this product, they actually sell this on Nordstrom. So if you guys didn't know and you are looking for a gift, uh, or if you're just looking to buy Huxley and don't know what Korean size or you don't want to wait for shipping or for whatever reason Nordstrom actually sells Huxley, which is so fantastic and that's really cool And I hope they continue selling um, Huxley or even other Korean products So it comes in this really nice bottle and it's basically a hybrid of oil and essence because Huxley has a really like I think they have three or four essences or kind of oil type of things like this um, but the packaging is so luxurious it's in this matte dropper bottle so and it smells like like all of the Huxley products smell like this kind of grass like fresh cut grass but it's very like fresh smelling so um, if you don't like that smell you probably won't like it but I did hear great things about this especially for moisturizing so I'm excited to try this especially for the winter I also got a bunch of samples from style Korean and I also got this little baggie so yeah pretty cool and the last product from style Korean is the Misha time revolution night repair ampule and this I know is also a uh, cult Korean skincare favorite along with the Misha um, time revolution essence those two are like everyone almost has it or at least begins with that when they get into Korean skincare. So this is a dupe for that Estee Lauder um, Advanced Night Serum, which my mom actually uses and she's been using it for years and she loves that. But I wanted to try out um, this one and I also love the packaging. It comes in this glass bottle. So really excited to try this one. And this is mainly for um, anti-aging, I believe. That's kind of what the main benefit of this is. So that is my Korean skincare haul. Uh, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for part two, which is featuring Korean uh, beauty makeup items. And yeah, subscribe and like this video if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye.